Hello, I'm Wooden Toby. Today, we're returning to the narrow gauge railway to unveil my Lego Sir Handel and Rusty. Right off the bat, you'll probably notice these models are different colors than the characters in the Thomas TV series. I designed my Lego models after the original Railway series books, and in those books, Sir Handel is red, except for his early days when he was named Falcon and painted dark blue like the TV show. Rusty, meanwhile, is always black in the books. Let's take a look at Sir Handel first. I previously designed a Forstead Wide TV series styled Sir Handel in August 2020, but I started from scratch for this model. My Sir Handel is 5 studs wide and 12 studs long, and consists of about 200 parts. He was the most difficult narrow gauge engine to model so far, especially in his cab region. I had to compromise a little on stability to achieve the result I wanted visually. A few pieces are connected by just one stud, but nothing comes apart as long as I don't apply excessive pressure to the back of the cab. I can modify my model to portray changes in Sir Handel's appearance over the years, starting with how he looked in four little engines, or with the buffers and standard coupling he gained later, or with his cap open on both sides, as in Great Little Engines, or with coal bunkers, as in New Little Engine. All the parts necessary to build Sir Handel in dark blue during his mid-Sodor days as Falcon exist, but I haven't purchased them at this point. Moving on to Rusty, I initially designed a TV series-styled model that progressed from four studs wide in August 2020 to five studs wide in March 2021 before becoming this final product. My LEGO Railway Series Rusty is 5 studs wide and 10 studs long, consisting of about 130 parts. Finally, I have some new rolling stock to reveal, two slate trucks. These guys are quite small, at 4 studs wide, 7 studs long, and about 75 parts each. I designed my models after the slate trucks seen in the Railway Series and in real life on the Tallyland Railway. The biggest challenge was figuring out how to connect all the LEGO parts while keeping all visible surfaces smooth and studless. I based the truck's faces on the TV series, and I think they came out really well, especially considering how small they are. I built the trucks in tan, like some of the slate trucks seen in the story trucks, primarily because all the necessary parts were available in that color. I can use dark gray tiles to give them slate loads. With that, I've shared all the LEGO models in my current collection, but of course I'd like to build more. Let me know your thoughts and questions in the comments, and I'll do my best to respond. Sometimes, I address frequently asked questions and common topics in my YouTube community tab, so be sure to stay up to date there as well. My channel's 7th anniversary is coming up in just over a month on August 4th, and we're about 150 subscribers away from 5,000. If we can hit that subscriber mark by the anniversary, I'll celebrate both milestones with a Lego Toby, so let's aim for that goal. As usual, let's see today's new models in action.